Hello there, I hope you're having a wonderful time. Today on Interaction, I will fulfill a promise that I made to Temba, you know, to take him uh, around the Federal University of Marayao, where I graduated. It's a pleasure to be back here after about seven years, you know, of graduation, right? Some things have changed, I believe, and uh, let's try to see how it looks like. At the moment, I think it's on holiday. We wouldn't meet many students around. It was um, five years of uh, studies. It was five years of cool stuff. And uh, I'm really happy to share part of it. Let's go. The Federal University of Baranyao is a public higher education institution located in the state of Baranyao here in Brazil. The university started as a faculty of philosophy in 1953. In the subsequent years, it went through transformation and integration of other existing faculties such as social service, medical sciences, law, nursing, pharmacy, odontology, economics, and other isolated federal institutions. Presently, the university has nine campuses spread across Maranhão State, and the main campus is here in San Luis. Well, I am in the front of it at the moment. In this campus, courses are offered in areas linked to applied social sciences, human, language and arts, engineering, technology, medical and biological sciences and uh, about 27,000 students are distributed across these fields. Okay, did I forget something? Well, oh, <laughs> I love the motto of the university. It says, a vida e combate. Life is a battle. Indeed, life is a struggle. The university is located on the Portuguese Avenue. Going down takes you downtown. And uh, going up the avenue takes you to the industrial region. The university campus is called Don Delgado. At the entrance of the university, you have the north, west, and east accesses. Between the northeastern axis, you have the central library is still under construction. The first structure you meet in the northern direction is the School of Psychology. That small structure used to function as the university clinic. Now we are approaching another old structure. At the back, you have an ultra-modern center of uh, integrated learning. You have many courses like uh, the biological sciences, oceanography. Beside it, you have the Department of Anatomy. They have a structure of their own. In the opposite direction, you have the Herbarium and the Department of Pharmacy. You know, opposite to this department, you also have an old structure where you have the bank, you have the, the school library, many offices. Opposite to this structure is the Center of Analytical Chemistry. Food and water control is carried out here. I did my IT here and I was a trainee for about a year. And what I love about the university is that it's virtually green everywhere. I enjoy the air here, it's fresh. This is the university community center where people meet, you know, during break, to chat, to, you know, have fun. And I remember I used to come here, not frequently, but uh, sometimes. And also the, the university festivals used to take place here because before some things happened and uh, today there, there are no more festivals within the university campus okay uh, but uh, you still have some games like snooker you can play and uh, you can have fun you know chat that's the university restaurant <laughs> that's the powerhouse it's the i think one of the most important sector of the university in my own opinion okay uh, the food is good and I used to enjoy it, okay? In case you don't want to eat in the university restaurant with the students, there is a, a, a private uh, restaurant beside it there, that beautiful structure. Food is a little bit expensive, <laughs> but uh, you know, some teachers eat here, some students also. It depends. If you are also in a hurry, you want to eat something, you can, you know, eat at this at this at this place
let's keep walking okay so uh, we are approaching where i study this is centro de ciencias e technology it's called city that's the acronym uh, you have courses like engineering you have sciences in general and uh, you know at the entrance there used to be a plane that's the beast 14 i don't know if it's still there yeah, i can't see it i think they got rid of it you have few students still within the university campus when it's not on break you have more students this is the main entrance of the center of science and technology before i graduated they installed this entrance you know uh, the entrance was a little bit different so it was reconstructed you have the corridors it's still the same it's a nice place you know i spent five years here wonderful experience this is the center uh, I think I'm gonna stop here. So, all right, let's go to the to the structure beside. You have another school. It's a school of um, social sciences. CESA, so it's called. That's the acronym. You have the parking space, and you have also a cafeteria. I used to visit that cafe. You know, have uh, saugadu and uh, kupuasu, my favorite. <laughs> Kupuasu is a native fruit here. It's well, you know, consumed, and I really enjoy it. It's very nice. Okay, this is the center of uh, social sciences. Uh, this, uh, that's, that's the main access. Okay, that's the main entrance. You have this covering, you know, to help people to go to the restaurant. Uh, it, it directs people to the restaurant. It's a covering that uh, could help a lot during rains. Okay, so uh, we are coming down. And in the two schools, for instance, the cent Center of Science and Technology and this particular Center of Social Sciences, you have spaces like this where students they, are, they gather to play instruments they gather to chat to play to do some activities all right so let's head to the another center we're going through the parking lot this is a shared parking lot for the two schools that's the center of um, science and technology and uh, that of social sciences this is the cafeteria and a closer view <laughs> Okay, so let's cross over the street and see what we have. Right, so looking right, let's look right and uh, left before we cross. <laughs> Insecurity, okay. So crossing over, that is what we call the Retoria in Brazil. The rector is the head of the, the university, different from uh, english-speaking countries you have vice chancellor in english-speaking countries but here in brazil you have the rector okay so his office is there you have other deans you know offices and uh you know uh secretaries you know lots of uh things happen there uh, somehow it's like the senate building okay and uh, what i love about the university is green okay Okay, viewer, you're gonna forgive me. The last structure we visited was the School of Humanity Studies, that is CCH, CCAGA, not CCSO. This particular building we are in front of, covered with plants, it is CCSO, that is the Center of Social Sciences, okay? The building I'm zooming is one of the largest structure within the university. I'm not going to visit the structure itself because it's getting dark. But there you also have departmental offices and uh, lots of things happen. There are many classes. It's ultra modern. That is the Postgraduate Center of Human Studies. That's the university radio on frequency modulation 
Going in that direction takes you to the university sports center. You have the gymnasium, you have the football field, university swimming pool, and uh, other structures. The university also has a TV station. That's the structure. You have the mass for the transmission. Everything is done here. It's a beautiful structure. That's the Center for Political Science Studies. Well, we'll end this video here. It's getting dark. I hope you enjoyed the video.